Today we are making these absolutely delicious individual chocolate tarts with a chocolate ganache filling. It's an incredible dessert, it's very simple to put together. So let's get going. We need our short crust pastry and we're just literally we've left this in the fridge for about 30 minutes to rest before you roll it out. Uh, place it onto the surface. We want to dust this with some flour as well. So we're literally dusting, okay? We don't want this to stick to anything at all. And then we're gonna roll this out nice and flat. So if you wanted, you could line a full tart tin, which is perfectly fine, but we're using the little small ones. So if you're serving individual desserts, these are absolutely brilliant to use. Cut like a diagonal across, okay? Because if you're doing like an apple tart or something, you roll the pastry across the rolling pin, and then you bring in your little tart tin, okay? and we lay it on top. So then what you do is you ease it into the mold. Once you get to this stage, then get your rolling pin and just roll it straight across. Just like that. What happens is all the pastry comes off and then you get this perfectly lined tin. So for the second one, again, same thing. Exactly same thing. For the tart molds, pierce it with a fork like that. So that stops it basically from rising too much on you and it gives you a crispy bottom. But you don't want a soggy bottom in this, we want crispy bottoms. And then cling film. So make sure it's heat proof cling film you're using. All we're doing then is we're just really lining it. And then I get rice. So if you have baking beans, you can use baking beans. So straight in. And what we do to stop it from shrinking, really, really pack it full, okay? It can be a nightmare if the sides shrink around and press it down. What you do then is you get the cling film and you bundle it all to the middle and then you just press it down. So just do the same again for the next one. So both of those go into the oven at 180 degrees, blind baked for 10 minutes. So set your timer and then we're going to remove the cling film after 10 and bake for a further 10 to get a crispy kind of base there. So these are good to go. And you can see we've got a nice crispy kind of layer. They're delicate and they look absolutely beautiful. Okay, so set them aside. We're going to make the filling uh, to go with this. So in a bain marie, so we've got water just simmering away in a saucepan. Uh, we're going to get our chocolate first. So we'll just break this up to help you along. So give it a really good crack on the side of the, the work top as well. Okay. Uh, so that literally just breaks it into little pieces for you. Saves you having to chop it up straight into the bowl. In you go. Two of the chocolate, we've got our butter as well. So we've got quite a bit of butter going in here. So we're just going to melt that together. And then finally, your double cream straight in. You just really want to melt the chocolate, the butter and the cream together. And that's literally your filling then for your tart molds. Okay, so once this is all melted, you just fill the moulds here. So take these up and then just get the chocolate and pour it straight in. You get yourself some chopped peanuts and then you just sprinkle. Lovely. They go straight into the fridge and you just want to let the ganache set. It normally takes about 30 minutes to an hour and then you're ready to serve. Right, so these are set. So all we need to do now is literally plate it all up. We have here our ice cream to serve with it. So I'm just gonna show you a little trick. You can do this at home. So we see along your plate here, place the tape like this. The reason why we're doing this is we want like a brush stroke of chocolate sauce that's perfectly straight the whole way along the center of the plate. This is definitely a great way then to use up the leftover chocolate. Get your brush straight in here then you just literally paint the whole way across like this, okay? You then come along and you get your tape and you just literally reveal it. You get like this perfect straight line of chocolate. Pop your tart out of the mold, sit it on the plate like that. Some leftover chopped peanuts and we sprinkle those then onto the plate here. Literally what we want to do is we want something that will hold our ice cream a really good scoop. Vanilla ice cream served with that is an absolutely perfect dessert. 
That's my individual chocolate tart recipe done. I hope you enjoyed that one. Don't forget to give us an out, subscribe, like, and share. Uh, comment below with your suggestions for recipes. And don't forget to give my Instagram a little follow there. Uh, we'll see you all again next time. Cheers.